Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show you one of the new features that exists inside of Resolve version 16.1. So over on the Cut tab right now, which is the more lightweight, quick way of editing your videos when you're in a rush, and there is a feature over here called the Boring Detector. So this was just added, and what the Boring Detector does is tells you when a clip that's in your timeline is either too long, by default more than 45 seconds, or too short, 5 frames or less. So how it works is very simple. You just click over here on the boring detector and you can set your defaults for how long you want a boring clip to be considered and how long you want a jump cut to be considered. And the idea of what it's trying to avoid here is obviously having a clip go on for too long and possibly being less interesting to your viewer. And then for a jump cut, which is five frames or less, it may be too short for the average viewer to actually be able to tell what's going on in that cut and therefore it's probably recommended that you extend the length of that clip. You can see that as soon as I clicked on Analyze Timeline Edits, that a large percentage of the cuts that are inside of the timeline now have this light gray color hovering over them. So the areas which aren't being matched to the Analyze tool will just have the default black background, but as soon as the video gets too long, it shows you that cutoff point for where it may be boring later on. So these cuts would only be recognized by the Analyze tool if you were to take a different time from the same clip. So I could do that by trimming a few seconds off here, and now there's a different sections from the same source material. Or, or obviously to put a completely different clip in front of the first one. Now generally I find accidentally making a clip 5 frames or less is pretty rare, so you kinda need to go out of your way for that. And we can do that here by going to this cut, jumping a few frames back, with the keyboard, and I'm going to hit the Split Clips tool here, and also trim some data off from the left side. So now that there's a real cut between the clips, and it is five frames or less, you can now see that it's indicated with a red color in the timeline, so a lot more noticeable than the boring clips, probably because having a jump cut this short would be more of a problem, it would be very noticeable in a pretty annoying way, nine out of ten times. So the idea now is that while you're working on your project, if you scrub through the timeline and you have the Analyze tool turned on, you'll be able to easily see some of these areas which you should probably work on. It can also be handy when you're using the Fast Review button, because it'll go forward with things and fast forward. But you'll be able to easily see these cut discrepancies even when you're using that mode. So if you do run into a boring clip or a jump cut, you can just go ahead and pause it there and make the changes you need to. So in the dialog window, I find that the analyze button itself is pretty pointless. What you can actually just do if you want to toggle it on and off, basically having DaVinci Resolve analyzing it or not analyzing it, is just click on it and toggle it when you need it or when you don't need it. And you can go ahead and cancel out of that dialog because you really don't need it once you've set your custom times for what a boring clip or a jump cut should be considered. So that's pretty much it for the boring detector tool inside of the clip tab of DaVinci Resolve 16.1. I imagine it's most useful when you're working on a bit of a larger project and you have a lot of cuts between your videos. So it's possible that you may miss one or two that just goes on for too long or is just simply too short. So that's going to be it for this video. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.